Hello, Army of Light, Earth Division, Boots on the Ground. It's Shauna L. Francis. Today is March 30th, 2023. I know you weren't expecting to see an update from me until at least Tuesday of next week, but I have really good news to share. <laughs> A request from the three lieutenants that I gather the Army of Light Earth Division to help blast some light and love to Antarctica. So no big surprise here that Antarctica um, would need our help, would need our attention, would need our focus. Um, but it's just so exciting that um, it, it was actually Mantid that brought it up, um, actually said to me last night, Shauna, we have a request of you and your Army of Light Earth Division. <laughs> Can you believe this? So I'm gonna read you everything that Mantid said about this. And we're gonna talk about dates and how I'm gonna try to squeeze this in in the next few days. Um, <clears throat> and I will record, I'll record a guided intensive kind of um, meditation for all of us, similar to what we've done in the past for the Middle East and for the hive mind humans. Um, so I will record something with the team's help and uh, we'll set that as an instant premiere on YouTube and we will do this. Um, also, <clears throat> besides just doing it as a group, um, I clarified they they would love for us to be just adding this to our daily practice um, blasting love and light to everybody in antarctica right now and if you hadn't seen haven't seen the video that i did about antarctica i will leave it in the description i left it in the description for last the last uh for tuesday's update as well for the weekly briefing so yeah so this is a i'm calling this a quick check-in um, and I'm just, again, I'm just thrilled that we are getting requests to do something like this. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And it's also a testament to how amazing you all are in holding the light and staying focused and getting the energy moving. I'm, <laughs> I'm just thrilled. It's just amazing. You guys are incredible. I want to also just take a quick moment, um, I've had a few one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, with a few, well, particularly with women recently, and I'm getting a sense that there's a lot of you, or a few of you anyway, who are feeling like, gosh, am I doing enough? Am I bringing enough light? Am I doing it right? Um, can my guides hear me? Am I being of service? Am I going to ascend? Um, you know, so remember team that we are in still this transition. We're trying to figure out kind of how we integrate all of this ascension stuff, this high vibration stuff, the bringing of the light, the light work, army of light, earth division, bringing this kind of to our everyday. And honestly, I think it's natural that people be like, hmm, am I doing this right? Am I really making a difference? You know, um, not feeling like you're maybe doing it good enough or uh, long enough or um, it's not making a difference. But I want to assure each and every one of you that just by being on this planet right now, just by your presence here, it's enough. And if you can hold the light and hold a strong intention uh, and follow along in these guided meditations or in your own spare time in your own meditations to bring love and light here it is doing an incredible amount of service you know i want everybody to just really i want you to trust yourself i want you to trust that you're not missing anything you're not missing out you're making a huge difference what you are doing is important you are important and what you're doing is enough it's more than enough mantid even said it yesterday he said if your scientists were learned in the ways of energy, what you do could be measured and recorded. And we're talking about our group. We're not talking about other meditation groups or other folks who are doing this kind of work. We're talking about this particular collective here. So I just want everybody, I want you to trust yourselves that you're not missing anything. Trust that if you're supposed to be somewhere else doing something else that you'd be doing it, that you would have set this up for yourself to be successful in that way. Honestly, guys, if you can just be staying in a, a place of joy, a place of peace, a, pl a place of acceptance, we're so far ahead of the game <laughs> uh, because this is a really tough place to be, right? It's very dense. It's all the influence that we've been talking about here so just being here 
holding the intention for love and light is more than enough and i just want to commend everybody for making this effort and coming along in this journey you you are the journey you know i'm here as a messenger and kind of a liaison here but this is really about the collective here that we're a part of and the work that we do together so i just want to make sure everybody everybody knows that okay team <laughs> i'm going to get into what mantid had to say here So he said, um, Shauna, as you know, there is a war being waged mainly between the forces of light and the negative reptilian battalion and their alliances. This war right now is mainly being forged in what you would consider to be outer space with highly advanced ships that are fully equipped for modern, technically advanced warfare. While this battle is raging in space, the negative reptilians are a bit distracted here in terms of what's going on on the planet's surface. Okay. He said here, Shauna, figuratively speaking, the ground play is somewhat off the radar while the space game is at full tilt. <laughs> okay. So he says here, while this war in the heavens is playing out the forces of light, are dedicating personnel to the ground tactics that will help alleviate some of the suffering perpetrated by the negative reptilians. Okay, so while the negative reptilians are doing their thing uh, with the ships and fighting fighting the light in, in space, down here things are getting a little bit ignored and so they're distracted. So they're saying the light forces here are taking advantage of this time right now. Shauna, here is where we'd like your help. We would love to see all the torches held high for all of those who are in Antarctica against their free will, serving the negative reptilian regime. What started as free will in terms of those who are quote unquote working for the negative reptilians has now become total and complete subjugation for all the children the, and the adolescents, the teens and all adult humans who are being held captive, who are being exploited generating that fear and of course eventually being dismembered and killed all right so again team we talked about this a few months ago i will leave that link in the description for that last video we ask that you and the army of light earth division join with our forces to help raise that area's vibration through intention Shauna, you may also want to call upon the Army of Light Galactic Division to assist as well. <laughs> well, hallelujah, of course. At this time, the request is for a blanketing of high vibrational energy across the entire region. This may include visualizing the entire continent glowing and humming with bright white light, once again with love pouring into that entire area. All right, guys, so again, if you've got a daily practice going on or have a few minutes a day, start doing this right now, and we'll also do a couple of group meditations. They said here, imagine shining that grand spotlight that was mentioned recently, a grand spotlight on the entirety of Antarctica. I said, okay, wonderful. I said, we're all over it. I said, what about the North Pole? Is this just about the South Pole this time? And he said, Shauna, for this particular mission, we'd like to be focused on the South Pole. There certainly could be future missions where we talk, where we work together with you on the North Pole as well. I said, okay. <clears throat> All right. And I had said, um, I said, should this be a guided meditation or do you want us to just integrate this into our practices? And they said both. I said, okay, well, I said, wonderful. I'm, I said, I imagine this is making a difference then. You know, this is so exciting. Thank you for calling upon us. And they said, yeah, absolutely, yes. These intentions, if your science were scientists were learned in the ways of energy, this would be able to be measured and recorded. I said, oh, that's wonderful. And they said also, Shauna, collectively, these exercises help to strengthen the collective's power, and it also helps 
open each individual's hearts as they do the work. All right. Remember, Shauna, that we have hundreds of people here who would be included in this meditation, in this collective intention setting. The objective is to weaken the negative reptilian energetic stronghold in the area to provide some much needed awareness of that negative energetic field, a lifting of the suppression, a lifting of consciousness. And when they said hundreds of people here at the beginning, I think they're talking about between um, all of the people who are who have signed up to help the negative reptilians there on that base, but also all the people being held captive. Okay. He said, this supports everyone's actions around the eventual destruction and obliteration of the negative reptilian actions at the South Pole, a complete cessation of these programs. I said, all right, wonderful. <laughs> and I, I had just said, all right, well, I assume you guys can help me create a guided meditation. And he said, absolutely. All right, so again, I'm just so excited. I'm so proud of the work that we're doing, the work that you guys are doing, that we're able to, I mean, pair up with the Army of Light Galactic Division once again to bring this light to this area. All right, team, so I'm gonna call this a, a quick update and I'm gonna let you go, but um, please be looking for more information. Um, oh, I was gonna tell you, here's, here's the dates I'm planning on doing this. Um, this coming up Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, and then 5 p.m. Tuesday, April 4th, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So two, two spots this week, 10 a.m. on Sunday, 5 p.m. on Tuesday. That should work. Um, I've kind of stacked myself up this week. I'm going to Mexico on Friday, a week from tomorrow. So anyway, it's a little nuts, but hopefully um, between those two group meditations and everybody doing the work individually, um, it'll be exactly what they need. <laughs> All right, team, thank you so much. Thanks for everything. I love you. I will see you soon.